I know we have heard a lot lately about Fashion Files new return policy so I wanted to chat with you guys today about the return policy and just some of their other programs that they have through Fashion File. As you can see all of my handbags behind me and I do have a couple more that I want to show you today plus more that I don't plan on showing today but I have purchased quite a few handbags through Fashion File. So I feel like I have a pretty good idea of what the shopping experience is like with them. And I also wanna talk about the span that I've been purchasing with them from 2016 was the very first time that I purchased from Fashion File, about seven years ago. So I feel like I have a lot of information about the evolution of Fashion File and how we got to where we are today. If you're interested in any of those things, keep watching. By the way, welcome back to my channel, The You in Fashion. My name's Megan. On my channel, we discuss fashion, luxury, handbags, and lifestyle. If you're interested in any of those topics, please like and subscribe, and don't forget to hit that notifications bell down below so you don't miss any of my content. My goal with this channel is to hopefully help you find The You in Fashion, so let's go ahead and get started. So let's start with talking about their new return policy. So their new return policy says that you have 15 days from the date of shipping the item to you to return or postmark the item to Fashion File. So you can either return it by mail or you can go to one of their Fashion File selling studios. I will link below the store locator and you can click on where you live to see the services that are offered there to see if one of those stores you're able to make a return to. Because from what I understand, not all of the Fashion File locations you can make returns to. If you guys live here in Atlanta, I did double check ours and you can make returns to the one Fashion File and Neiman Marcus at Linux. This is a change, however, from their 30 day period that they used to have. And my very first handbag I purchased from them was my Neverfull MM in the Damier Azure print. And this was back in 2018. So with that being said, back in 2018, you had the opportunity to have 30 days from the time that the item shipped out to you to make a decision, try it on, see if you love it before having to get it back to Fashion File. Now that was a very generous return policy. I understand that, but I feel like 15 days is cutting it pretty close. I compared it to The Real Real, which is another popular pre-loved market. They say it is 14 days that you have to let them know that you plan on returning it and then get it back to them within 21 days. So I could even understand if they did something like that. Like you have to let us know within 15 days if you plan to return it, but then you have the full 30 days to get it back to us. So I wish that they would have maybe considered that because when I looked on there to see what the UPS ground shipping would be, they said it could take take about five business days to be able to get the item to you. So if we're doing 15 minus five, that gives you 10 days to get it back to Fashion File. So really within a week, you're having to decide whether this is the handbag for you or not. So I would really love you guys' opinion to let me know if you feel like the 15 days is plenty of time for you to be able to get a handbag, make a decision on it and get it back to Fashion File or if you feel like this 15 day limit really is too short for an online shop such as Fashion File to be able to get an item and decide if you truly want it. So first thing that they changed with the return policy was the amount of time going from the 30 day mark to the 15 day mark. Second thing they changed. So they also used to have free UPS shipping to the customer and then also you were given a prepaid label to return any of your items as well. Now probably the most recent item I have in my collection from Fashion File is the Chanel Small here and I got this one last year as you guys know and at that time of course it was still free shipping back which to me is very important because you're getting this item it's not like you can just go and pick it up from a store to me I feel like a company as large as fashion file should really be able and willing to pay for that shipping return back now one thing they put in here was if you're returning a large amount of items within a short amount of time that they would have penalties for that particularly the 10% penalty 
However, I could see if they did something similar with the return shipping in that case. So I could see that if you were perhaps going to be returning large amounts of things within a short amount of time, where they're like, okay, we can't keep giving you these free UPS services. However, when it comes to those of us that are really just purchasing a couple times a year, I really don't feel like we should be penalized by having to pay the return shipping especially $14.99. I know that it's like, okay, Megan, it's $14.99, really a lot of money, but it's the principle. It's the principle that it used to be free and you're a company such as Fashion Fell that's just grown and grown and grown and grown. And now us as the customers are having to take on that expense of the return shipping cost. So to me, both of these things are just directly against the customer in this case, which is what I feel like really hard to digest about this is I could understand if you maybe changed one thing or the other but to just bring both of these things on us like not only now are you going to have to pay to return it but you also have significantly less time to do so that pretty much sums up the big changes with the return process let's go ahead and move on to the changes to the fashion file refresh program now so the fashion file refresh program allows you to basically sell back your handbag to fashion file within a year's time. So as you guys can see with my handbags, typically I keep them at least for a year's time. After my Louis Vuitton, these were actually the next two that I purchased. I still have them in my collection. I keep my handbags for a long time. So the refresh program, I don't really have much experience with, but this was another thing that I wanted to research further because I recently got an email. First of all, the change in the return process, and then they say, we're gonna change something else too. It used to previously be, it was if you sold your handbag back to Fashion File within zero to three months, you would get 75 plus of what you purchased the item for, which to me is actually pretty good when you're looking at what the reselling price of an item typically is. And now 65%. So when we're looking at a handbag, 65% of say a $3,000 handbag would be about $1,950, where 75% would be around $2,250 for that $3,000 handbag, which is about a $300 difference. So that's pretty significant to a customer speaking for myself when I just bought this handbag zero to three months ago and I'm losing about a thousand dollars from the price I just purchased it from. That is quite a lot. 65% and 75% to me definitely makes a difference. Let's go ahead and look at their other tiers. For four to six months, it is 60%. It used to be 70%. And for seven to 12 months, it's 55%. It used to be 65%. Here is my issue with this. Like I discussed earlier, yes, this is quite a big difference when it comes to selling a handbag that you just purchased back. We're talking about a pretty big difference between the percentages that they have changed this to recently. My issue with this also is you guys presented this to us as your customers. You said, hey guys, we want to provide you with this refresh program if for whatever reason you decide that you don't want a handbag after you've surpassed our return window we want to offer you this program to make sure that you are able to sell your handbag back to us for a reasonable amount then when you give us that and you set the boundaries for that you guys set the boundaries and then you realize maybe we're giving them a little bit too much let's pull it back some again it seems directly against the customer it's not like fashion file is presenting these things and then saying we know that you guys are really loyal to us so let's create a loyalty program my problem is that there's no reward for being loyal i've been shopping with them as i said since 2016 with my first handbag purchase being 2018 and all of the changes that i've made have just gotten stricter and stricter and stricter and directly against me as the customer so it's really hard to digest when you talk about fashion file which i used to love shopping with not only due to their selection which we're going to get to later but because of their customer service and because of the things that they offer to their customers and it's hard as you just watch all of that being stripped away piece by piece by piece and getting more and more and more restrictive as they continue to grow larger and larger and larger so i really want to get you all's opinion on this too because as i've said when you're watching it and you're really piecing it all together it's quite a lot of things that 
are changing within a short amount of time. Next, I wanted to talk about the Reserve Luxury Program. Now, I believe this has stayed about the same. I do think that this is actually one of the pros of Fashion Fowl that they offer to their customers. They allow you to do 60 days of a layaway program on an item. It does have to be on their site for five days before they'll allow you to reserve it. You put 25% down and then you have the remainder of the 60 days to pay it off. So I just wanted to discuss this with you guys as an option because I was just breaking down pieces of what Fashion Files offers for their customers. Something nice that Fashion File does because I do want to put in here, I know I'm talking about a lot of the changes and how those changes maybe are affecting us as customers, but I do want to highlight the nice things that they do as well. And this is definitely one of the pieces that they offer that a lot of other pre-loved markets don't offer to their customers. Just FYI, when it comes to the reserve, keep in mind that if you decide not to keep the item, that there is going to be a 10% return or cancellation fee, which makes sense to me. If you're taking it off the market and other people can't buy it or purchase it, there does have to be some type of penalty so that people don't just reserve things and then cancel it or return them. And other people are missing out on being able to purchase these items. So I understand that. Let's go ahead and move on. The last thing I wanted to touch on here was the discounts. This is a big deal to me because this was one of the things that originally drew me to Fashion File and that I felt like, again, similar to the layaway process, separates them from others. With Fashion File, they will discount 5, 10, 20, 30 percent. So I found this Chanel double flat, which is actually a really, really great price. If you guys are looking for a double flat in the black color, I think this one is really, really, really nice for the 30% off. However, it used to be 10, 20, 30. So there wasn't a 5% tier at one point. Also along with this, they used to notate when the item would be eligible for that next promotion. And to me, it gave you the opportunity to really think about it and say, okay, do I wanna risk someone else getting it within this amount of time or am I okay with going with those odds and being able to save that extra 10% of money for this purchase. So I just liked that that put again, the ball back in the customer's court to really be in the know and know what they wanted to do and be able to make decisions accordingly. They've taken away that feature of knowing when the item's gonna be available for a discount. You have to like the item and then they will notify you when it's up for discount. The con of that for those of us maybe that work throughout the day is when they email me, oftentimes by the time I see the email, someone else has already seen it and purchased it. From what I gather, I want to say it's about a month or so in between each discount. So maybe that will help you keep an eye on around when that time will happen, but it's still so much a gamble. And I really wish that they would return that feature of being able to know when that next discount is coming so you can plan accordingly. Also, what I've noticed recently is that when they offer a 10% sale, however, what they recently started doing is only items that they choose to go on that 10% sale. So back in the day, say for instance, when I was purchasing this handbag here that I really, really love, I could have waited and said, Okay, I know that this Chanel is going to cost this amount, but when that 10% sale comes on, you never know when they're gonna come, but when they ever they do, you're like, okay, at least I know this item I've been eyeing should be to part of that 10% sale. It really was just nice to say, okay, I know that they have some sales certain times of the year. I'm gonna wait and see what they have that I really love and then take the jump on it when that 10% sale comes around. But now, unfortunately, oftentimes it may not even be something that you want. It's simply just whatever Fashion Fowl has determined that they want to put as part of that sale. We're talking about something that now Fashion Fowl kind of has made these rules for. Fashion Fowl says, hey, these are the only items y'all are gonna get an additional 10% off on. Either you like them or you don't and you move on. <laughs> so I really wish that they would go back to some of those core qualities of customer service, of we want to offer these things to you as our loyal customer base so that you continue to come back and shop with Fashion File. Here is the final thing that got me. And this to me was probably one of the worst decisions that they could have made. Starting, I wanna say last year, when the items were discounted down, what they would do was say that the item was discounted 10%. 
or 30%, such as the Chanel that I showed you guys earlier. And someone were to buy that Chanel double flat for that 30% off. If they were to return it back, it goes back to the full price, not back to the 30%. Now, this is something that did not make sense to me at all because you guys discounted it to the 30%. Someone purchased it and returned it and now it shoots back up. So even the people, as I was talking about earlier, say I was one of those watching out to see when that one was discounted for 30%. Someone else got to it before I did and then they returned it back. Back in the day, we would have had the option to then purchase it once they returned it back for the 30% off. But now you're like, the one item I was looking for, I finally have waited, it's came back in stock and now I can't even afford it anymore because they shot it back up to the original price. So imagine how disappointing that is for someone that's been patiently waiting for this item and then they shoot it back up to regular price. This actually happened, I was eyeing an item, I was waiting for it to be marked down, it was, someone purchased it and they said within minutes, literally within minutes, they had, I guess, canceled it or changed their mind and it was back on the site within five minutes, back up to the original price. And I actually called them. I said, I've really been shopping with you guys for a long time. I've been eyeing this item. Is there any way since it was five minutes ago that you guys could adjust the price for me back to the discounted rate? And basically they were like, absolutely not. <laughs> that is our new policy. It's on the Fashion File website. We, once an item is returned back or canceled, it goes back to the original price, no matter whether that was five minutes ago or days ago. So that was really, really, really disappointing to me and just showed me how much they've changed as a company when it comes to customer service. Back in the day, for instance, I had bought a pair of sunglasses and they had one of their 10% off sales the next day. And most companies won't go back and make any adjustments to prior purchases. But I called them and I said, it literally was just yesterday. It's been discount another 10%. Can you price adjust it for me? And they did. And that's the type of fashion file customer service that I remember. That's the type of fashion file customer service that kept me coming back for years and years and years. And the changes that they've made now definitely makes me rethink, is Fashion File truly the right place for me to spend my money on these pre-loved items? I've heard a lot about Rebag recently. I've been doing more research with The Real Real recently. As you guys know, I purchased my Lady Dior actually from The Real Real. So it's really causing me to start rethinking if Fashion File is truly the best place for me. So wrapping up this video on my final thoughts, I wanted to do a little bit of a pros and cons. So pros for Fashion File would be the selection that they have is unparalleled. The amount of items that they have from vintage to new to limited edition items, to me Fashion File has one of the largest selections of these items. Something else that I feel like Fashion File offers is again the Luxury Reserve program. They do have that Luxury Reserve that if you can't pay it all up front, they give you that 60 days with 0% interest to be able to give you some additional time to purchase an item that you love. And lastly, the listings of Fashion File. I know that people have had issues in the past with maybe the item not coming exactly as described, me being one of them. However, what I have noticed about Fashion File is they are still far superior than most other sites with the picture qualities and also the description of each of their handbags. So those are some significant pros to Fashion File. Some cons, however, I know I've kind of discussed them throughout the video, but definitely are the changes that they've made, I would say against the positivity of their customer base, almost directly the opposite of that, to be honest. With all of these new changes that they're making as Fashion Val continues to get larger and larger and larger, are really against the best interests of their customers. And I would hope that they're maybe considering making some changes, maybe even dialing back some of the decisions that I know in that case, I'm pretty much dreaming, but I really would hope that they go back to the days where they're like, how can we make sure we are serving our customer base the best? Thank you so much for watching as always. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.